Good morning. Do y'all see my squish mellows? Well, they're not mine. These are Madeline's. <laughs> but I'm just waking up and I'm not even... Actually, that's not true. I've been up since like 5 o'clock. And I decided that today I'm going to do a different kind of video. Because look how tired I am. But <laughs> being in my mom life video... Madeline is knocked out comatose. She usually do not wake up till like 9, 9.30. So I'm going to get my day started. So I'm about to go in the bathroom and take a shower and do my skincare. Look, I got bags under my eyes. But I've been trying to decide on where I want to, if I want to go back home, pretty much. Um, I knew when I got to this place that I'm in I j it just didn't feel like home to me like and I know home is not an external thing but I just didn't feel like this could be a long-term living arrangement for me personally and it's been weighing on my mind I've been trying to decide if to stay in the states or if to just cancel the state go back home and just stay there till Madeline gets a little bit older because because she's so young it's not as easy I would say um and then I was like maybe I should just move to a different city and stay in the state that I'm in or go back home um oh because of career opportunities like I wanted to do a restaurant but I don't think I would do it the way that I wanted to I think that I would do it differently it's really on nutrition and I feel like when I learned the impact that it had on me like and you know like as as a healing factor in humanity like because it comes from the ground like fruits and vegetables and things like that I'm just like that's kind of the momentum that I want to keep. That's what I want to teach. You know, I want others to know that God is good. God is good. He made whatever come about this ground is meant for you, is meant for, to heal you. And I said come out of the ground, not poop on the ground, not walk on the ground. Come out of the ground. It's meant to heal you. I don't know. I might be able to find something here in another city. I'm not going to cancel it out. I just want to make the best decision for this child. Um, if I go back home, there really is nothing negative that I could say about going back home. You know what I'm saying? Like, But I'm not open to new opportunities somewhere else either so i'm just keeping my options open with the both with both places but i'm definitely gonna put my foot on the gas to like get the process going like start um applying for her school like once things start rolling in and i could make a more informed decision like all right she got accepted to this school this school this school in this place or that school in that place like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I apply to jobs in this place, apply to jobs in that place. Like, who's giving me, where am I getting interviews at? You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm in the process of getting my resume and my LinkedIn updated because I've done it a few times. Mm -hmm. um, but I haven't been working for a while because I've been taking care of this child. And a lot of the jobs that I was applying for, they weren't responding back to me. So I felt like I need to change the direction of the jobs that I was applying for and lean into nutrition. Like, I feel like that's my, I feel like that's what I'm here to do is that's the good news for me from, from God is health is wealth. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's been on my mind to the point where I'm not even sleeping because like, you know, when you have to make a decision and I'm really not good at that, but I did make a decision. The, the decision is that I know for a fact that I don't want to stay <laughs> where I'm at right now. And 
the next decision is to plant seeds in both places that I'm interested in to see which one hit. Like I know for a fact, um, back home, I wouldn't live in the same city or the same borough or maybe on out the outskirts of the city will probably be probably be best for me and or the other city in this state will give me probably like a happy medium but I've never been there so I don't know like what to expect you understand so but I know what I'm looking for employment wise and um I would really like to work with a hospital or a clinic or whatever and just talk about nutrition like I want that to be my job like to be my job I want to help others Jay and I'm so grateful for all of the subscribers all of the likes and the comments and the love that you guys are showing me after eight and I've only slept I slept for less than six hours which is not really my goal. My goal is really like eight. So my sleeping coach on my phone is like, hello, what you doing? Yeah, so I'm going to get up and get ready. Let's get to it. some black seed oil. I'm gonna do a whole regimen after I get out the shower. And I got my meal. Yes. And the facial cream. Calendula face wash. This is what I've been using on top of my Neutrogena. And it's actually real. Because why is it there? Why is it there? And I got a big pimple on the side of my lip. But I feel like that's because I've been cleansing a lot. So I just also wash my hair. Well, my hair is wet. So I'm gonna do the black oil. I got this from um, All Natural, All Natural, which is a store that sells vitamins and supplements and things like that. the stop oil from EL that I'm gonna use also and I'm saying I've been using Suave and I know Suave is cheap Suave is what <laughs> five dollars for a set in the dollar store <laughs> but I've been using the Suave conditioner and that made my hair start growing and y'all know I cut my hair bald last year like if you want to see what like, my hair is looking like go on my Instagram <laughs> go on my Instagram I, did, I had cut off all my hair um, last year. And this is for sunscreen and for the hyperpigmentation under my chin. So I just put like a drop. Oh. 
I don't need to shave my hairs, my face. <laughs> this is not really wanting it to be, so this is where I oh this smells so light this like literally wakes you up this literally wakes you up like i'm still halfway sleeping and yes lord okay i don't use wax waxing paper and things like that I used to do it a lot when I lived in North Carolina. Oh, that was the kills. King Elf's kills. Moisturizer. Oh. Yes, even though I have a big on this thing. <laughs> oh. Dino Romo spray. I never. Every morning when I come out um, into the kitchen, I pour some hot ass water and I throw it over my dishes and my utensils, like just a fiery hot ass water because I actually just want to sanitize my shit. Daycare, daycare or anything like that and it's really exhausting like I really need a break so damn I didn't even mean to like be blatant about it but I need a break <laughs> like it's all day long every day I need a break okay 
So this is Oakle House Mandarin Hibiscus. You know the little candles? This was five dollars in Target. Wait, this smell okay. This smell okay, but I think it's gonna do the trick because that's mainly my my purpose in getting the candles. So hopefully this smells okay. I do have plugins, but because this is such a large space, you can't really smell all of the This shit is not for the week. Anyway, I got some bath bombs because I put her in the tub and I go with also. I got frozen sky cheese. So it's about lentils. So instead of making a thingy majiggy brand, and if it's not, somebody please tell me. And it's very cute. I think this was only five dollars for this set, and I needed it because this is something that I wanted, but it's not cheap texture at all. Like this is really heavy. This is really heavy. So I got this in an extra large. I probably didn't need an extra large. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe y'all keep thinking I need to buy these big ass sizes, and I don't. But I did. So I have this in the extra I'll be feeling like oh, this this is this is yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But I'm about to make a chocolate what's this? A chocolate cake, chocolate fudge. Well, I'd rather put milk, but I'm gonna put that at least that so it don't stick to the bottom. And then three eggs. I'm gonna milk in my eggs too instead of the water so that I can get fluffy because I just like my eggs fluffy and I know that might do something to texture or whatever or consistency of the cake maybe but I already oh shit how to put oil like hell I'm gonna put oil in water hell but I'm sincerely exhausted like I'm, I'm sorry I'm just like, I'm literally had to delete a whole clip just now because I was in here going off on her like, hey, like, let me tell you, you're just not going to do that. Like, you make a mess, you got to clean it up. You're not just going to create stuff, like, create a whole mess and I have to turn around and clean it up behind you. Like, I'm just, I'm just not doing that. I'm not doing that. So, I don't think I'm going to put water in here. I think I'm just going to just put oil, I mean, put milk. And I just hope that it doesn't really change the consistency of like how the cake should come out because it's milk. I'm assuming that it's liquid, so it should still come out the same. Maybe. We don't use no water. Yeah, like this is tiring, yo, for real. Tiring. I'm pretty sure if I use water, it's probably the same thing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more milk. These bowls are alright. I thought it was gonna be like classic plastic, but it's okay. It's um like hard, hard plastic. Look, throw it in the pan. I have the sprinkles, I'm gonna just have to throw the sprinkles in the cake mix, throw it in the pan, throw it in the day. This probably was the what is it, one cup of water. Listen to my hand, like just gonna say. Even though this is bad because this is a lot of sugar. 
she know how to jump around, cause Lucky Lucky or whatever his name was. But I asked her to pick up some paper off the floor, and she don't know what the floor is. She don't know what paper is. She wanna act like she don't know what I'm talking about. Can't comprehend nothing. She don't know what it is. I don't want them to know. I'm heating up some um, zucchini and sweet potato and shrimp and lentil. Yes, that's a big combination, but it's um, it's a vegetable soup pretty much that I made yesterday. So I'm going to eat some of that for lunch. This is the cake. The brand that I'm using, I did it in my little Target haul just now. Right? I'm going to just pour it in here. And I only drink oat milk. I do not drink cow milk. I mean, I'm just going to need it. This macaroni, this taco That opportunity was given to me before that I was just like, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Because then I'm trying to use my brain, use my mind, and think about the past and what I used to do. Because um, even though I'm not in the same place, sometimes when you're not in the same place, even though you're not in the same place, you kind of still have the same habits. And my habit, my bad habit is Target. Okay, I be in Target all the time. Not buying things I don't need. Not buying things I don't need. I always buy things I need. I won't say that. Like 99.9% .9 of the time it's food or it's necessity. And me and Madeline, Madeline lost a lot of things um, over the past, what happened? We lost a lot of things over the past few years, like just to get to this position. And even though it's been a little bit painful, even though we're in a, a, a crib, we're in a, a, a decent place, whatever, um, I think it just, I just kind of, I'm hard on myself a lot because I know my capabilities, I know who I am, where I deserve to be, and I know everybody got setbacks and all that stuff, but I feel like I really bust my ass, <laughs> literally, like bust my ass to get to the, the, the status, not status, that's, that's the wrong word, to get to this point in life prior to Madeline. You know, it's like, all right, I, I, I done went to school, I done got my jobs, I done A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever the case is. I guess slowing down is very hard for me. I don't know. I'm going to spill out the milk. Put it in the bowl. I'm just going to season up my cheese and my milk. I'm definitely going to need some more milk, though. And some more cheese. I have to get some more cheese. I think that's what the opportunity is. Because you're talking about this is an opportunity. Like, you're going to take this one, or you're going to take that one. I think that's what she's talking about. But I would have to be connected to someone to take that opportunity. And I'm just like, nah, like I'm good. Like after all the shit that I've been through, trying to get back to this point. Nah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Now I ain't gonna lie, like I've been saying, I would love to go back home, but I don't wanna go back home right now. I don't think I'm gonna go back home right now. Mm -mm. I think I, didn't, I need to really like process and go through and, and, and really let go of all of what I've been through just to get here to this point. Like I need to work on that before I even touch New York again. Before I even touch New York again. I know that for a fact. That if I even went back, I mean I did, I did go back to New York and I was so pissed and I was so mad and everything. That I ended up leaving. So, so I'm using my little mushroom cup. Mm -hmm. I think we all deserve a cheat day when it comes to like fasting and things like that. And I don't want to be, I know everybody's talking about discipline and I'm going to do this for 21 days and yada yada yada, but I'm human. I'm human. Like I've been having really bad migraines and it's not from what I'm eating or anything like that. I know, and it, I know about energy and all of that. So when I'm around environments that's not for me, I don't feel good. Period. It can be people. I don't feel good. Period. Like that's me. I'm very like I absorb 
I'm very empathic. Like I can really feel other people's emotions. I can feel the earth. Like you know how they say hug a tree. Like that's why they say hug a Jesus. What is going on today? <laughs> what is going on? Why is this going on like this? Who knows? Uh, I'm just creating more chaos and annoyance. <laughs> today is day. I don't even know if that's a word, but it's day. You can't do what you need to do. You can't ground yourself to really manifest and focus on what your highest calling is and pray for the right direction. Pray for the right things, people, and places to enter into your life experience. But you gotta do your part, you know? Yeah, you gotta make a change. This time, I'm telling y'all, this portal, y'all, is only open for a limited time. This is the portal. Okay? I'm just here, man. It's time to take back control of your life for yourself. That's too easy. You know what you want to allow the corner is what I heard. Kind of how this town slow and steady leads the race. Not the damn. I'm just here and they can't get to you because you had, you know, you had somebody, you had blockers. You had people trying to enjoy your arms and the food of your life. Y'all you see those um, ladders on there? I'm here to rise and raise. Yeah, people wanted to move forward and, 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 and <laughs> rush in and help you, help you enjoy and spend your, spend your abundance is what I'm here. And you made a choice to block them. So stop giving to them. Good job. Very good job. Clear by the time of Holy Spirit. You freed yourself and you closed the cycle out. That's what Spirit said you can do with this King of Cups. Somebody you, you was building a legacy with. 
experienced like nah. Nah, nah. I'm about to put this in a pan. You didn't this know this pan. person was over here doing this. Oh, I'll just I'll put the damn, turn the oven off. Because we have to slow you down and show you what was going on. You got on me no more cheese. You had rats trying to invade your foundation, your home, your temple. Somebody was taking how it go, your body, your mind. They was trying to invade every area of your and, 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 and get all of these ones. That's what I mean. That's the truth, y'all. And then we got a king of ones and five of ones. I'm not lying. It's fire energy. I love the fire energy. I'm an Aries in the Excuse house, me. okay? Somebody get their little brother. Okay? They little sister, whoever it is. This fire sign was on a rampage. Just close it out. Free yourself and close it out. Get balanced, get steady. Get solid on your own and close the cycle out. And trust me, I'm going to go with my pen. Got another one. Mm. Okay, you, you still trying to hold on. The spirits have let go because if you let go, you're going to get stable. Because you're going to break the reunion. You wanna, you, wanna, you wanna get outside of that circle. I'm, I'm, I'm here outside of the box right now. You're feeling boxed in. And that's got you out of alignment. That's got you not being seen and felt by those who want to get you to help you speed things up to your to your man here and to your abundance. That's confirmation y'all to me. Bottom of the deck, and you know this. You know this because you can feel it. You know this offer is coming. I'm telling you, whoever you are, there's a thin line between love and hate, loyalty and faith. Somebody catch okay. that. You're dealing with somebody that's.